Hi everyone. It's time for cash stuffing number 14 of 2024. If you're interested in more, stick around. It's time to release the word Kraken. Welcome or welcome back. I am Sarah, Gen X librarian and author who's making some progress on how she spends her money. Uh, this is a little chaotic. I have just gotten back from California, my summer trip, and now it's time to catch up on videos. There should not have been a break on the videos you saw, but, um, but there was a break in me recording them and I wanna do uh, some happy mail before we get into the stuffing because I decided to check out Budget with Ira and I've been enjoying his videos a lot. I, even though he's in the UK, I wanted to get some savvy savings challenges from him. So I started with, uh, because I have that big 6,000 month ahead, like a whole month ahead, not just bills, that big goal. I thought one of his saving challenges would make sense. So I ordered it and it arrived just before I left town. So you get to unbox it with me on camera. I've loved watching him do these saving challenges and they use dice. And even though I have a bunch of six sided dice, he sends dice with it so that you have the right dice to do his games with. So um, I got the mermaid one, oh, sticker. Cannot leave that out. I do have a pile of stickers now because what did I buy myself as tourism stuff and souvenirs? Uh, stickers. We'll talk about what those stickers are too because I had a small mini adventure with my parents while I was away. So uh, this is, um, and I will put a link to the challenge. These are his savings challenges. I think this is the mermaid. I don't know. It was definitely my color palette, but each of these envelopes has a different amount. Save a hundred, two, three, four, five, 1K, 2K. And you roll the dice. Each of the dice has a certain number of sides, thus uh, what you might put in each of these. Uh, and then you just sort of cross them off with permanent marker when, you, um, when you've rolled it and stuffed it. And I'm really excited to do this. He also, uh, this is the, um, so it's the mermaid 4.5k dice challenge you roll and save uh, i love this little uh the little invoice is so cute i love the dice i'm super happy to do this and i will set this up probably in august to do uh so that you can join me while i do this so thank you ira for sending this to me i'll tag his shop below and his channel so that you can check him out as well uh, so what did i get in California. So I went to visit Sacramento where I have some family uh, in Sacramento, super close to Napa Valley. So we drove out to Napa Valley, my parents and I, and I love stickers. I have a sticker obsession. So I bought some stickers. And then we also in Sacramento went to the Blue Diamond uh, store and gift shop, which is right on their factory. If you like almonds, you've probably eaten Blue Diamonds. Uh, what I really wanted were some of their limited edition flavors that I can't get here on the East Coast. So I grabbed uh, some of their bold flavors, which I can get, but not the whole variety. Uh, but they also have a snickerdoodle flavor almond and a mint cocoa almond. Uh, and then a new one that's like honey butter, which my sister's comment was, no, it's real butter, reminding me that I can't eat butter. Um, I have lactose intolerance and butter is my worst trigger. So uh, I gave them as gifts to people who I wanted to give gifts to. The, the team who took care of the dog while I was away, uh, I gave them that as a gift and then I have some to take to work. So um, that's really what I bought. Uh, we will do a reconciliation on that and I have an update to my travel binder because some decisions were made while my father and, and well, while my parents and I were together. Um, about future, actually all, all of us were together. So future travel arrangements were made. And this means a big update to my travel binder, which will come in a future video later this month. Today we're doing paycheck number 14 of the year. 
it is three thousand and eighty dollars that i am stuffing between bills and my envelopes and some things are being moved around uh, i will sort of share those um those travel updates a bit because things are getting stuffed but in general we're not going into depth with it so let's get everything out we're going to start with bills so we'll put that on top but let's count to see what we have i should have three thousand and eighty dollars So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, two thousand, two thousand two hundred. Fifty one, fifty two, fifty three. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40. 10, 20, 30, 40. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75. Nope, totally did the numbers wrong. We're gonna try again. I'm tired still. I had took a red eye, so I'm still recovering from, from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 2,200. 51, 52, 53. 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 20, 40, 60, 83. 20, 40. 40. Hmm. I think I did the math wrong on the calculation end. We might just move forward. 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 80. Yeah, I'm still about 120 short and I'm not sure why, but we're gonna move forward and then I'm gonna see where the problem is. It might work itself out and I just did some calculations wrong. So let us start with my bills. I'm gonna put this off to the side. All right, these are my monthly bills. So I'm a month ahead. I, I do have a buffer, we'll get to that. All right. We're gonna start with mortgage, which is 575. One, two, three, four, five, 50, 75. This week is a, a real good reason why I'm glad I'm a month ahead um, because I can budget better knowing that that money was in my account for me to uh to just have for bills because it's the start of the month when i'm recording this and i was away on the first my car is 210 my homeowners association is 140 And the gym is a hundred. Now I'm not stuffing anything in utilities today uh, because there's more than enough, even if I um, have some large bills and I've already gotten my electricity bill, which uh, we will get to the, um, actually it's all in here. So there are four things that go into my utilities. Electricity this month was zero. Water will likely be about 115. Gas was 47 
and solar was 15 will be 59 uh, so I'm not stuffing anything because I have at least I have 260 which means I have more than enough for these bills so I've skipped it this month or this week because there is one more paycheck Internet is 65. And cell phone is 45. I'm going to deal with the buffer. Actually, I actually think I already incorporated the buffer to something else. Um, because that bill went down. Uh, alarm is also 45. And the vet is 35 and uh, his Royal Highness Cedric is, he chipped a tooth while I was away. So I suspect the medical emergency fund is going to him sooner rather than me because we need to cover it it isn't this is uh, he goes to banfield which is the pet smart uh, associated vet so we pay for uh, what is basically a plan that divides your vet your annual vet bill so your check-in check of visits vaccinations all of those things uh get split across 12 months it's not insurance it's just sort of a payment plan on your vet bills uh so when he needs something like a maybe tooth extraction uh, that's a little extra that uh, I'm going to have to start keeping track of. He is nine. He turned nine on July 1st. So we are officially in senior dog territory. And then exterminator is getting 25. This bill is ending, but something is going to be replacing it in my sinking funds because um, this need isn't going away per se. It's just not going to be a monthly expense. Uh, and then entertainment also gets 25. And this already has 15. I don't know why this has 15. It should not have anything, but we'll figure that out on the other end. So now it has 40. And then my buffer, which is relatively new, but uh, it's gonna be about 100, maybe 150, yeah, it's 20, 40, 60, 75. Uh, I will deal with it at the end of the month moving forward. Um, yeah, so that are the, those are the bills. Next, let's move into the sinking funds. These are the funds of things that I need or want, but aren't monthly bills, uh, so. No, uh, we're gonna start with the coffee and tea that's getting 25 and 50. So I do it in 20, two 20s and two fives because uh, that makes it easier to make change when I am making change because I uh, don't always fill up both my Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts cards. Usually it's just Dunkin'. So I have no idea what I just did. This has 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 5, 35, 40, 5, 50. So 150. I do have, when I reconcile this at the end of the month, there is plenty coming out because California does not have Dunkin' Donuts. All right, house short term gets 150. We're going to put that, we're going to pull out 100. In the 50 so 100 goes into house cleaning and 50 is going into supplies let's do some counting 1 2 3 20 40 60 84 20 40 60 85 100 50 70 85 I had the house cleaned yes before I left town so it will be in the next uh, reconcile unstuffing video. It wasn't as expensive as I expected it to be, which is good, uh, but it wasn't as, 
wasn't a good clean. They didn't do things that the team normally does. And it's, I, I pay a company that hires the cleaners. Uh, and I think it's time for me to make some changes with the company I'm using. Anyway, a uh, short-term car is getting 115. Hundred's gonna go into gas. So that's one, 20, 130. And then car wash has 45. And then short term Cedric gets 70. So you will put Fifty in grooming and twenty in treats. And then let's count what we have here: one hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, two ten, two thirty, two fifty. All right, Sarah Care. So. This is getting 250, but of that, 100 is being put aside for the moment. Uh, that is going into a new envelope that I don't seem to have created, and I will on the fly. Uh, but let's get some things put in here first. So 150 is being added, 100 to massage. And we'll put the next 50 into petty. So that's one 50, 200, 225, 230, Well, not 1,300, 1,030. The other 100 will now be going to my studio rent. Uh, I think I talked about it because I have lost track of all the things I talked about in videos before I that I recorded before I went away. Um, my studio rent is becoming part of the Sarah Care aspect of my life, but it's a monthly bill, so it's going in the monthly bill binder. All right. Gifts and donations is next. That's getting a hundred. That will now have one, two, three, sixty. Holidays and celebrations is supposed to get a hundred. That is also going aside for something else, which we will talk about. That currently has. 150 70 85 and I uh, might pull some money out of here for my California trip because it was a 4th of July event and we did some stuff on the 4th of July my accountant is getting 25 this I don't need till next February or March maybe April but one two 20, 30, 5, 40. Long term car is getting 215. And take it out of fives. I needed an extra 10. That might be one of the things I'm missing. Yes, I might have done the math wrong. Um, so 215, we will, there is cash in this house that I can use to supplement what is there. All right, so that is not long-term car. So I have to make sure that I have enough for inspection. So that is going to be the 15. I have to get the car inspected. Well, now, so this should need, this needs 35, so it's 10, 20, 10, 15, 25, 35. So that is good. Actually, let's use the calculator for this one. Uh, 
registration doesn't need anything this is the my excise tax it has 400 another is going in here and then in insurance adding another thousand so this now has 1400 and this has $1,935. And I don't remember what the goal is for this, but um, we're pretty close. I'm surprised. Oh, I know where that's going. Oh, long-term house. We're going to put aside the 100 for His Royal Highness. So 20 for the house. This is uh, to pay for any updates I want to make in the house, anything that breaks. So it has 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. There is nothing I want to do right now. Well, there are things I want to do, but they all require multiple thousands of dollars. So it's a slow, slow build for now. And then medical is getting 100. This might be used for His Royal Highness. This now is 4, 50, 70, 90. Memberships is getting 25. This now is 20, 40, 60, 70. Or maybe I put the rent here instead of Hmm. Uh, entertainment bonus is getting nothing and rent it's getting a hundred so take that out of that buffer that I put aside and this now has 200 my studio is a hundred dollars a month uh, and because I consider this sort of self-care this is money this, the reason I rent a studio is because I want to be able to write when I want to write before I had it I was very limited to when cafes or libraries were open and what policies they had. Like at the cafes, I would need to order food and share Wi-Fi <laughs> that didn't always work. Uh, but in, um, in my own studio, I can bring my own food. I can come any time of the day. I have the policies of the place I rent from instead of policies of the library, which wouldn't allow food. So this, and I would have spent more than a hundred dollars a month on food at studios or at cafes if I was going to cafes. So this still feels like the best way to balance that. And that's a $1,200 business expense that I save for. Uh, and if you've seen my business videos, you know how I am trying to save for things like editing book covers, uh, and I now need to add in advertising to level up my business as far as the profits I can make. And there are programs and things that I'm seeing my fellow authors, my friends do that I'd like to consider. So all of that has to be taken into consideration. All right, we're going to go into my things I need. I don't really need. All right, uh, so yarn's not getting anything. This has 200, pins has 210. Organization is getting 25. I am going to need some more. There was definitely money I did not grab. So 25 means 20, 40, 65, 75 in organization. This I'm trying to get up to $200 for April next year to go to Ikea. That's my Easter tradition. Planner supplies is getting nothing. It has 100. And books is also getting 25, so I need to pause and get some cash. Okay, I swapped out one of my hundreds for, um, because I have all these hundreds and I'm not quite sure what I was planning on doing with them. So I swapped out a hundred dollar bill for 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Uh, and then I had a 20 in reserve, so 20, 40, 5, 10, 15, 20 uh, that I swapped out. So. This should get us to the next place. So books gets 25. This now has 
50, 70, 95, 105. Will I be buying books soon? I don't know. Probably. And then tech also gets 25. I am going to need some tech in the somewhat near future, but I don't have nearly enough to buy it. So we will see what will happen with that. But yeah, I think I'm gonna need a new iPad soon and I use an iPad Pro. Um, so I have a lot to save. So, but I have 150, 70, 90, 210, 215, 220, 225. That was all I had planned, and yet I still have plenty of cash left. So we're going to go into the travel binder because Okay, so we are going to go through this California stuff uh, in my reconcile, but India is um, changing. India is not going to be India anymore. India is now becoming New Orleans. The long story and I'll tell, or the short story and I'll tell the long story in a travel update is that uh, India is not happening this year. And so this year I don't need it. So uh, these things are getting changed, but certain things are staying the same. For example, uh, Cedric's still going to need to be cared for when I go away. So we're putting a hundred into his fund. So now he has, yes, uh, one, two, three, fifty, seventy, ninety, four hundred. 50, 70, 90, 400, which might be perfect for the length of time I'm planning on going. And then even though this was the hundred, these are the hundreds I put aside, even though I am not going to India, I'm still going to have to fly somewhere. Uh, and um, there were lessons, more lessons from this trip to California, things that I am not accounting for when I plan trips, like parking my car, transportation to the airport, <laughs> transportation around town that I need to start accounting for. So now in a flight, whether it is to India, New Orleans, or back to California, I have five, six, seven, eight, fifty, seventy, ninety. Now I've lost five, six, seven, eight, fifty, seventy, ninety, nine, ten, nine, thirty, nine, fifty, nine, seventy, five, eighty, five, ninety, eight, ninety. Uh, so I will do a video talking about what I had uh, anticipated having to save for India and now what I think I'm going to need to do New Orleans. All right, so there's still money here. <laughs> and I don't know what it was for. 200, 50, 70, 90, 210, 310, 320. And I don't know what it was for. Everything's accounted for. So you know what we're gonna do? I think this is good here. And even though this isn't India anymore, um, we're gonna put it in tourism. Uh, so one, two, 50, 70, 90, 310, 320. And when we do this, we'll swap out some of these uh, placeholders uh, and talk about 2025 travel plans because I'm going back to California. So uh, I had a little more than I needed, but less than I thought I needed, less than I thought I had, but everything got stuffed uh, with exactly what I wanted to stuff it with. So uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.